Hey ladies and gents and welcome back. So right off the top, uh, make sure you stick around until the end of this video uh, because we have a really cool collaboration video with a, uh, with a very big uh, shoe YouTube channel uh, that's coming out tomorrow and you don't wanna miss that information. So again, make sure you stick around. If you didn't check out our last shoe repair video, we had a pair of Red Wing Mock Toe boots that were in really rough shape and we resold those. Definitely check that video out. Uh, it's done really well. And today we're going to kind of piggyback on that same video since this is a uh, shoe or boot season, we're in full swing and uh, we just want to kind of follow up with it and do something, uh, sort of a little rivalry. So this pair of boots that we are doing today is a pair of Thorogood uh, mock toes. Now they are sort of the rival to Red Wing. They are also another American made boot company. And there's a lot of similarities, some differences between these two boots. But this gentleman, as you can see, these boots again are in rough shape. A lot of these guys sending these boots in to us obviously really use their boots and uh, we're gonna get them back in shape. Now, unlike the last video, the uppers are on these are what are in really rough shape and we're gonna spend a lot of time just trying to clean these up and get them looking as good as possible. Now, the soles on these are not as bad of shape as the last boot, uh, but we're still gonna replace these soles and just, again, get these boots back up and running. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. Like I mentioned guys, this boot is in overall really good shape. So because we're not having to do a whole lot to this boot like we did the Red Wings, uh, again, we're just gonna spend a lot of time on the uppers because you can see that these uh, are really dried out. They're very dirty, haven't been cleaned in quite some time. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, one of the things that you definitely want to make sure you do before you use saddle soap on your shoes or boots is make sure that you're getting off as much of that surface dust and dirt as possible, because if you don't, it's going to turn into an absolute mud bath. So that's what we're doing. That shows you how much dirt was actually on these boots. So let's see uh, how much more we can get off.
Okay, so now that we have the stitches pulled out, uh, this stitch is actually just a faux stitch, which is why we're not messing with that. But the stitches that we're actually holding onto the sole, as you can see, we've pulled those out. But the welt now is really dirty and we're going to clean this up so that it looks a lot nicer before we put the new stitches in. So I'm about to remove the excess cork that's still in here, but one thing that I did want to point out just while we have shoes open for you guys, uh, these third good boots, as you can see, actually have a rubber welt. Uh, I'm not a big fan of having synthetic um, materials for welts. I think leather welts hold up much better in the long term, but it is what it is and just want to point that out. Also, you can see that the, uh, the footbed here is fiberboard. Um, it's not real leather. So just one thing I kind of like to point out while I have shoes and boots open for you folks. Okay guys, so we're getting ready to put the new midsoles on. Uh, if you saw before, it actually came with a white rubber midsole. And a lot of these mock toe boots do, but we're actually going to do a little bit of a uh, upgrade or an upgrade and put leather ones on. Uh, leather is actually better. It holds the glue better than what a rubber midsole will do. And it's also just as easy to resole it again. So. Definitely an upgrade, definitely something to look for whenever you're out in the boot market looking for a good quality pair of boots. Also, one question you guys may have is why do companies use a lot of the rubber midsoles instead of the leather? Obviously, it, a lot of times it comes down to cost. Um, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than having a leather hide, and that's one of the big reasons they do it. But anyway, so let's heat this glue up and get it adhered onto the boot. All right, now it is time to get these boots conditioned. As you can see, they are definitely dried out and it needs a little more moisture put back in there. Obviously, there's not a lot we can do to the toe areas. This gentleman uses these for construction and whatnot, so he definitely works in them. And that's why this is so patinaed up here. And that's just the color that this really light leather has become. But we can still put the moisture in them and make them look a lot better.
So this pair of Thorogood boots is done. Uh, as you can see, uh, we really cleaned up the uppers on this pair of boots. They really needed it. Um, we also changed out the soles to uh, another pair of white Vibram Christie soles. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned earlier in this video regarding these boots is the welt on this one. So they were a little bit different in regards to the Red Wings we previously did because the welt on this one is a uh, hard rubber and it, it doesn't clean up quite as well as the, uh, believe it or not, as the leather ones do. Uh, but I think we got them looking much better than what they did. We replaced the, uh, the rubber midsole and used leather on there. Uh, so that's going to make it a little longer lasting. Uh, it's going to hold that sole on even better. And uh, other than that, I think they are good and ready to be sent back to the customer. Now, in regards to the video tomorrow, definitely make sure you check out the channel Rose Anvil. Uh, we will definitely put down his link below. Weston over at Rose Anvil has done a great job this past month doing a complete and very thorough uh, boot review series. Um, he's looked at everything from Carhartt to Rock Rooster to Red Wing to Thorogood. Uh, Danner and he's cut those boots open and uh, really went in depth on which boots are the best and kind of piggybacking again on on our videos and his uh, if you're out there in the boot market I, I think it's safe to say uh, that channel and our channel are two good ones to go to that hopefully have educated you on boots and what to look for and uh, definitely check it out. Um, again, I will put down the link to his channel as well as some of his videos down below. And again, definitely check out the video he will post tomorrow because it uh, may feature Heath and I, which uh, we were excited about. Anyways, thanks again for joining us. And until next time, y'all have a good one.